Hi, this is David at Winco, and this is part two of our little tutorial on making UID labels in Bartender. And in the end of the previous part, which ended rather abruptly, we were getting the UID code itself sorted. And this part, I'm going to go through setting up the text fields and also selecting and printing um, labels to our label printer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the top and work through these. I'm going to go into properties for the first one and into the data source and I'm going to click on the advanced tab and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start these text fields with the data identifier so this one is going to be 17b for cage code followed by a space I add a second substring by clicking right underneath the first and the data source for this one is going to be a database field and in this case the cage code and I want to just remove this text them in here, otherwise it's going to clutter up my label. I click on OK and there's my first field. Similarly, I open up the properties for the second one, which is going to be the part number. I click on data source, database field, and I choose part for part number. Similarly, I'm going to remove that extra text that Bartender puts there so that it looks oops see you have to remember what to do here and I neglected to go into advance and put in the 1p prefix so let me do that this time that part's going to be screen data um, get rid of this part and it's going to be 1p parentheses and a space and I can move this field up in the list to get it where I want it to be and it looks something like this I like that much more same with the third one, go into data source, remember to click on advanced this time, and so my first piece of text is going to be the letter S for serial number, in parentheses with a space, followed by the fact it's a database field and the serial number, and again I'm going to remove this extra text because I don't want it to appear on my label and it looks like this and then the final one is going to be for our NSN, the national stock number. I go into the data source, I choose database field and from the drop down list I choose NSN and again I'm going to get rid of this extra text from here and click on, click on OK so my NSN will go into there and at this point I would, would um, save my label so that I don't lose it. Um, I'm not going to do that in, in this case, but I think it's important to save your label every now and again as you're working because these can be a pain to start again. So this is um, my finished label and if I want to print some, what I do is I can use edit and print or just click on the um, printer icon there and then the first thing I want to do is to go into document properties and I'm going to make some changes to the default settings. For some reason, Bartender sets everything at its fastest speed. I want them to go much slower because I'm much more interested in quality than speed for this. So I'm going to set all of the various speeds down to two inches per second. And if I probably would go for a slower one if there was a, a lower version. And then I also can set the print head temperature from here, which affects the darkness of the print on the label because I'm using a resin type, la um, resin, re resin type ribbon which needs quite a lot of heat I'm going to turn this up into sort of the mid 20s which is usually a good number for that and I should find that my print quality is pretty good for the first one so the next thing I do I click on select records and in here I'm going to choose which of my various um, labels I want to print um, they, it actually by default they're all selected I click on this icon with the red X to deselect them and I can move this over here to see my serial numbers and let's say that I want to print just the second two I would do that click on OK and I don't actually have a printer I'm hooked up to my computer here and you wouldn't be able to see it anyway so I'm just going to use the print preview so I click on there and here's my first label and there's my there's my second label it's as simple as that so I'd send these down to the printer and I would have two um, nice UID labels ready to verify and 
as it happens, setting up and using the MicroScan verifier is the subject of the third tutorial in the sequence, which will be coming up very soon. Thanks very much.